Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohammed Ali, and in the previous video tutorial, as you know that we have saved all the groups that a user will create. Okay, and now in this video tutorial, we will display all the groups which a user will create. Okay, and we will display it on our uh, group uh, groups fragment activity. Uh, I mean on the groups fragment okay so yeah let's do that it's not an activity it's a fragment so yeah let's do that so for that what we will be doing is first of all go to the fragment groups.xml file and here we have this default text view remove this and now the next thing is if I show you the preview then here we will be needing a list view so let's come here and from here you can simply type here list and drag and drop this list view here and width and height should be match parent for that and now let's give id to it so we can call this as list underscore view here we will display all the groups which a user will create okay we will retrieve basically all these groups from the firebase database so now the next thing is to go the groups fragment and now here uh, we can first of all let's define a view here private view and let's call this as group view this is our group fragment view you can give it any name you want but i will use some appropriate names okay now what we're gonna do here inside our own create method first remove these comments from here and now remove this return and here we can say group fragment view equals to this and now we have to return this so now after that we can say return group fragment view and now here inside we can uh, define or you can say initialize the reference to our firebase database to the groups node so before moving to that we will be needing an array list and also an array adapter to uh, store and or you can say to retrieve and display the groups on our uh, list view so what we're gonna do here we can simply say private first we have a list view as you know that so we can say list view let's call this as list underscore view and we will be needing uh, an array adapter so you can say a private array adapter string let's call this as array adapter private array list string and this will be our list of groups equals to new array list now here in our on create view uh, after this group fragment view uh, here we can call a method by the name initialize fields and now let's create this method create method and you can see it is created here and here we can say list view equals to list view find view by id since you know that we are using fragments so by using this group fragment view we can access our field so we can say groups fragment view dot find view by id r dot id dot list view array adapter equals to new array adapter string Oh, sorry for that. Remove this from here. Control X and paste it inside this angles. And here we need to provide the context, which is our group fragment. Okay, so in fragment we get the context using this get context method. Okay, by simply calling that. And then we need to define the view that how we can access uh, that. So for that, I mean the layout basically that how so we can access that. So for that we can say Android dot or dot layout dot simple i there are two layouts one is the simple list item one sim and the second one is the simple list item two so we will be using the simple list item one for our list view to display the groups so comma we can pass the list of groups 
which is our array list basically from in, inside which we will be storing the uh, groups from our database now the next thing is to set the uh, array adapter on our list view so for that we can say list view dot set adapter array adapter now everything is ready and now we need to create a reference to our uh, group uh, database i mean to our group node i mean to here and then we can access and retrieve all these groups and we will display it on our list view so we can say private database reference and let's call this as group ref and here in our own create view uh, above this initialize field method here we can say group ref equals to firebase database dot get reference dot child and the child you know is by the name g or o u p s groups and now by using this reference we can uh, retrieve our um, i mean the groups so what we're going to do here after this initialize field method here we can create a, i mean call a method which we will create now as you know that so let's call this as uh, retrieve and display groups you can give it any name you want but i will use appropriate names okay so let's create this so you can see this is our method let's move it below after this initialize field method so here we can paste it so this is our retrieve and display groups method now here we can say group ref dot add value event listener new value event listener and make sure to put a semicolon here first and now instead of our own data change method we can first now first of all let me tell you that we will be using an iterator that will go through this group node and it will uh, go like line by line to read every group okay? and we will retrieve it uh, line by line each group so here we can say iterator and let's call this as iterator equals to data snapshot dot get children dot iterator so now we can read uh, every child of this parent node groups okay like android developers coding cafe and friend zone and so on when a user will create new groups now as i told you that we will uh, read every child uh, line by line so for that we will be using uh, dot has next method so how we can do that here we can say while iterator dot has next now here we have to append our list and we should display here i mean each and every group line by line on our list view now here will be a problem basically now the problem is that when the database gets updated for example when the new room is added list will be appended okay and have duplicates because of the old values from it and we don't want the group name to repeat in the list view in order to fix that we can create a temporary hash set and we append that hash map so we will uh, append that uh, hash map with add method and inside of it we pass the key let's do that then you will understand it so above this iterator we can say set string let's call this as set equals to new hash set put a semicolon here and now inside this while loop we can say set dot Add. so this is basically the set dot add method which will uh, prevent the uh, duplication of values now inside it you can simply put two braces and then again two braces so now inside this one we can use the by using this data snapshot okay so data snapshot and after this brace we can say iterator dot next and after this one we can say dot get key make sure to put a semicolon here so now this get key method will basically get all the uh, group names okay which are these ones and uh, later when a user uh, how much groups he created so this get key will get 
that now we have to uh, clear the uh, list so for that we can the current list basically so we can say list groups dot clear and this set dot add method which is basically containing all our group names so we can display it on our list of groups so we can say list of groups dot set sorry dot add all to the set okay now to see the change on the screen update the list view adapter with the uh, notify method so we can say add adapter dot notify data set changed and now let's run the app to see what is going on so our app is running now successfully and now let's go to the groups and here you can see that this is beautiful i mean this is incredible you can see this the coding cafe group the friend zone and the android developers now let's add further groups so let's do it here we can click create group and now you can enter any group name you want that is let's say school friends and click on create and you can see school friends and here we go you can see that school friends let's create another one so create group and now here we can say let's say FIFA World Cup you can create any group you want let's click on that and you can see that FIFA World Cup okay so yeah I mean this is incredible and this is beautiful this is amazing so in the next video tutorial what we will be doing is that we will create a group chat activity where we will allow a user to chat uh, with any person around the world with inside each group uh, I mean on which he will click that is let's say if I click on school friends then all the friends inside that group can read and uh, watch that is what they are talking uh, with each other okay so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel like this video and yeah see you guys in the next video bye for now